Hey everybody, Jordan here, the PH is silent. Moving north of Om, I'd like to talk about Baldur's Gate. I'm hesitant about this though, as I still haven't finished the Baldur's Gate game. Hollow Knight kind of took over my life for a little bit. Check it out, that's also a great game. A note though, that I'm going to try and conquer this video using book resources. The Baldur's Gate game is a really a story that occurred in Baldur's Gate, not necessarily its whole story. So let's start at the beginning. Located south of Waterdeep and north of Am, Baldur's Gate, also called simply the Gate, was built on the north bank of the river Chianthar. It is known as being halfway to everywhere. I couldn't find an exact date when Baldur's Gate was built. Near as I can tell, it's between 227 DR and 865 DR. If you know and the reference material, let me know in the comments below. Baldur's Gate gets its name from the seafaring hero Balduron. Balduron came back from the fabled Akarome, which is a region north of Mastika, and brought with him great wealth. He used his wealth to build a wall at the end of the river Chanthar to control the port. He later vanished on another seafaring expedition and never returned, and local farmers then took over the gate, which was being referenced as Baldur's Gate and taxed incoming sailors. Eventually, the sailors didn't like the exorbitant taxes and overthrew the farmers. Taking control of Baldur's Gate, they started calling themselves dukes, and the name stuck for future rulers. The city eventually was led by the Council of Four, the Four Grand Dukes of Baldur's Gate. It's actually two cities. The first Baldur's Gate was originally completely walled, with gates to the north for the coastway and to the south leading to the docks. With the founding of Am, trade became very profitable in the relaxed climate and the city grew beyond its walls. The presence of raiders forced the erection of a new wall, thus it's divided in two by its original wall into an upper and lower city. The upper city is home to nobles and the wealthy, while the lower city is for the poor and also contains the docks and harbor. Currently, the gate exists solely for the convenience of the upper city citizens. It's kind of like a cutoff point, keeping the poor out of the upper city. No one is allowed except the local residents, and you must have written documentation if you have business in the upper city. The lower city is where the harbor lies and where the real work of the city takes place. Hands that load and unload ships, tally cargo and haul goods, repair and mend sails all live here. Baldur's Gate curves like a great hand or a crescent moon around its harbor. In Volo's Guide to the Sword Coast, it is better described as a hand. The fingers of the hand are the many docks and wharfs that jut out into the harbor. The harbor itself has a massive chain that can be stretched from the outmost wharf to the east side and bar the harbor to invaders. It also contains four dry docks for boat building and repair. Becoming too big for its walls, Baldur's Gate grew around them. The outer city is home to the poorest of the poor, but some wealthy businesses have professions too noisy or foul-smelling to operate within the walls of Baldur's Gate and also reside here. Smiths, masons, tanners, and other tradesfolk make up much of the outer city. There is little law enforcement in the outer city, which has led to districts forming, people banding together for protection. One such district is known as Little Kalamshan. Finding a home away from home, these refugees from Kalamshan have banded together to bring some order in their new lives at Baldur's Gate. And speaking of law, Baldur's Gate has some interesting law enforcement. Instead of a citywide militia, a military company police Baldur's Gate. Known as the Flaming Fist, its members serve as city guards. The Flaming Fist was founded in the 1330s by one of the Grand Dukes of Baldur's Gate, Eltan. It didn't start out as the city's guard for Baldur's Gate, but by 1479 DR, the mercenary group is the police and military force. Having base of operations in Baldur's Gate, obviously, but the Flaming Fist also exists in Tithir and even as far south as Cholt. Baldur's Gate refuses to be drawn into local political conflicts. It remains neutral in most disagreements. Because of this, no other nation really has any ill will towards Baldur's Gate, but the thought of invading and taking the city over is an appealing idea. However, it is well known that the Flaming Fist protects the city and they protect it well. The wall is impressive and has numerous catapults and other weapons protecting it. The Flaming Fist is a military power to be reckoned with. Finally, let's talk about Baldur's Gate the game. This ties in with the history of Baal and the Time of Troubles. Spoilers if you don't want a summary of the game of Baldur's Gate. The game takes place in the aftermath of the Time of Troubles. Baal, foreseeing his own death, impregnated numerous women with his offspring known as Baalspawn. His goal was to use these Baalspawn to resurrect himself. By 1368 DR, these children are coming of age and unbeknownst to everyone. Side plot, there is an iron shortage. All ore coming out of the local mines is rotting soon after it's being smelted. This results in iron ore becoming more valuable than gold. Baldur's Gate sends the Flaming Fist to tackle the increase in bandit activity over iron and closes its walls to all traffic coming into or out of the city. 
Ultimately, the big bad end guy is behind much of this and is trying to force a war between Baldur's Gate and Am that will cause the deaths of thousands, which will in turn cause him to ascend to godhood as, dun dun dun, the blood of Baal thro- flows through his veins. You, the hero of the story, stop this evil Baal spawn and prevent all-out war between Am and Baldur's Gate. And that's it for Baldur's Gate. My hope is to tackle Waterdeep next, and then I'll probably head to my list of topics suggested by you guys. One such idea was to cover all the deities in the Forgotten Realms, or perhaps cover more areas on the map like my last few videos. Give your vote in the comments below, or suggest a completely new badass topic to cover. Thanks everyone, and I will see you next Wednesday.